Hey everybody, it is Orlitho at 20 Dishes and today I'll be sharing another 2 in 10 with you and today it's going to be Asian beef and chicken shawarma thighs, which is so delicious. I love it. Um, so also we do have an announcement, well, a really cool special um, that we are doing right now for just this week only. You can join 20 Dishes for one year for less than $8 a week. That is an amazing deal because I mean, think about how much time you're saving in the kitchen when you can do two meals in 10 minutes or you can prep your whole week in record time as well. So remember to jump on over there. I will make sure that that link is in this video. So let's get started. I am just reading along my instructions. Again, this is why 20 Dishes is special because our patented system just allows you to read the instructions, do the instructions, get the job done. So first thing I need to do is cut my onions. So I have already washed everything because I didn't think you guys would want to watch me wash. That's no fun. So I'm just going to take those ends off. These ends, actually, if you replant them, you can have um, green onions forever. <laughs> they never, ever, 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 ever stop regenerating, which is kind of cool. Also, if you buy a bunch of onions and you only need a few of them, you can always pop those right in the freezer and have them for later when you need them if you only need a few again, instead of having to keep buying those onions. So that's also another little cool trick that if you didn't know, now you do. <laughs> I store my green onions in jars in, refrigerator, in the refrigerator because I do not want my refrigerator to smell like onions. That's not cool. Especially not if you have something really delicate like butter next to it. Unless you like oniony butter, which I don't know anybody who does. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to leave that open because... The next thing I need to do is my garlic. So I'm just gonna press the garlic right in there. All right, there we are, we're back. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Uh, must be the full moon. Let's blame it on the full moon. <laughs> All right, so I just put my garlic and my onions right there. I'm gonna see what's next, which says to chop my bok choy. So I'm just gonna take the end right off of that. And then I'm gonna chop my bok choy into pieces. Now when I put this in my bag, I'm going to put the leaves in first. And the reason that I'm going to put the leaves in first is because I want to cook the stems first. I want to cook the leaves last. So I'm going to put the stems on top, make sure I can just reach right into that bag and grab those. And that way they don't overcook. If you ever make bok choy, you know that those stems take a little bit longer than the leafy parts. And so I'm going to put those leaves in first and that way I can just reach in and grab those stems, those heavy stems, those thick stems and cook those first so that they have a little bit more time to cook. All right, so that is all the vegetables for my beef and broccoli and now I'm going to just do the beef and move that out of the way. I'm going to flip my, car my cutting board over to my meat side, which is the red side, take my ring off. I don't want beef under that. <laughs> and I just let my beef be in the freezer for a few minutes so that it's a little bit easier to cut. Okay, so I like to thinly slice my beef. So I'm just gonna go ahead and switch knives and thinly slice my beef. I've stacked it up. And again, it is, I put it in the freezer for a bit so that it's a little bit easier to cut. And I'm going to just thinly slice that beef. And then I'm going to pop it right in the Ziploc bag and make sure that it is ready to go for meal night when I'm ready to cook that. I don't have to break out a cutting board. I don't have to do anything. All I have to do is take it out of the fridge, put it in the pan, make life easy, right? And that's what Tony Dishes is all about, is making your life in the kitchen a lot easier. Okay, so I'm just thinly slicing my beef. Now you can also, if you um, have your butcher, you can have your butcher do this for you. You can buy stir fry beef that's already thinly sliced, save you a little bit more time even. And it usually doesn't cost that much. I don't think it costs more at all um, when I've seen it in the grocery store or when I can catch my butcher and I don't feel like waiting. <laughs> I can totally or I do feel like waiting, I have time to wait. I ask him to just do this for me. You can do the same thing. All right, so I'm just thinly slicing that. It's 
flip that around. I don't want it too thick because I don't like it that way. <laughs> All right. So now I'm just going to pop open my bag. Use my little handy dandy bag holder again because it makes it easy to prep. It's like having a second set of hands in my kitchen because then I can use both hands. Just pop them in there. All right. Done and done. All right, so that's that. Done my Asian beef. And now I'm going to move everything out of the way and do my chicken shawarma. Now, I love the Mediterranean, um, Indian food, that kind of spicy, yummy goodness. I love it. I'm going to give my hands a quick wash. And then we can get started. I'll show you how fast that comes together because it makes weeknight prep a lot faster, too. All right, so I know you guys have seen those nice little um, seasoning packets. Well, you really don't know what's in it. So <laughs> what I've done is I save myself a lot of headache by figuring out um, what's in those, and I make my own. So that's what this, what 20 Dishes has done. And so I am just going to go ahead and put mine together. So that way, when I come in the house after a crazy, hectic day, I just have to pop this jar out. It's already going to be labeled. Pop the jar out. And then go, okay, all I have to do is put this on the chicken, throw the chicken in the oven. Done. Right? It doesn't get much easier than that other than takeout, which is what we're trying to avoid. <laughs> right? Save some time, save some money. I am just reading along. I printed this one out because you can print out 20 dishes too. If you don't want to just use your computer or your tablet, you can print it out too. So I printed it out um, just so that I can have it on this side and not have to go back and forth. Um, so it's over here and let's see just adding all these things it's telling me to do it's just like okay put it all in a jar shake it all up done and done right so this is one of my favorite recipes I was trying out new recipes last week to add to 20 dishes and this one was definitely a hit um, and so I hope that you guys enjoy it again you can grab these recipes and more right over on 20 dishes um, it will tell you exactly the setup that I'm doing right now, the mise en place, how to set that up so that you don't even have to think about what to take out. You just take it out and follow the instructions. If you can read, you can do it. So it makes it so easy. Oops, cinnamon everywhere now, right? <laughs> That's awesome. I love it when I do that. It's like the cinnamon challenge. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that one. That one's crazy. Not something I'd say you should do. <laughs> all right, so I have just finished. Ooh, almost knocked that all the way over. That would have been tragic. Just finished it up. And I am done. So now when I come home, all I have to do is take my seasoning out of the cabinet. It's already got a label on it. I know what it's for. Sprinkle it on my chicken, throw the chicken in the oven, dinner is done. I don't have to pull everything out of the cabinet again once and done. And that's one great thing about um, 20 dishes is that it is a one and done. You do your prep once, it's prep ahead, and then the week goes much smoother. So this week I've already got my Asian beef cut up, my vegetables cut up. I'll just throw those in the pan, dinner's done for that piece. And then the next day I have my chicken, my chicken shawarma done as well. So that will make life much easier again. So if you are, have been considering 20 dishes, uh, right now is a great time to join. It is $8 a week right now. Uh, we are doing a fall blowout sale, so I will make sure that, that link is in this video. And I will see you guys on Thursday where I share a super cool tip about spaghetti squash, how to make it super fast and super easy. Hope you guys are having an amazing day, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.